can really tell from up here in Sky 4 with Action Cam why a hydrologist with the National Weather Service tells me Pittsburgh is just more prone to flooding. As we give you a look at the city, it lies low. It is definitely surrounded by rivers and the creeks and streams that flow into them. But as we show you, Mount Washington, Pittsburgh, and outlying areas are also situated on hills and in valleys so that when it rains, that flood water's got to go somewhere and the city's quick development means water flows faster. The result, it's causing headaches for municipalities and neighbors you might not expect. Here's a tale of two residents in Whitehall Borough, Paul and Gemma Churik. I can't live like this. And Gary Brugman. That's last July. Who lives just miles away. It really started to become a significant issue beginning in 2012. The Churiks live on Doverdale Drive in a valley of sorts. Their basement has flooded three times in the past five years. We've lost three cars in, in the last five years. We've lost three sets of furnaces, three sets of washers and dryers, two refrigerators. It's a safety issue. Gary Brugman has lived in his house nearly 30 years and says his flooding woes have worsened. You can't control Mother Nature. A general consensus among borough managers and experts with the National Weather Service, we're getting roughly the same amount of rain, but the storms seem to be getting more intense, leading to more flash flooding. All that water has to go somewhere. The water that would come down through the backyards of the whole neighborhood would just f become a river. And as a result, water would surround my house and I would uh, receive water in my basement. To go down to that catch basin. Two families from one borough living through a flash flood nightmare, but they also have something else important in common. Are you in a flood zone? No. No, water's nowhere near here. There's definitely more flooding. Up. Mike McGrody Jr. is an insurance agent. He's dealing with more flooding claims. I think everybody has a risk for it. Um, they may not think of that. If you live in a federally designated flood zone and have a federally backed mortgage, you're required to have flood insurance. No such requirement exists for people like the Churiks and the Brugmans who don't live in flood zones. Homeowners insurance policies do not cover flooding. We can't keep eating this kind of money. Despite not living in a flood zone. They're very nice, very helpful. The Churiks finally bought flood insurance. State law says it's largely up to municipalities to fix flash flooding issues. The water's coming this way. The Churiks are where Gary Brugman was a few years ago. Took time, took patience. He attended countless borough meetings and finally Whitehall dug two massive retention ponds on South Hills Country Club's property that Brugman says has done leaps and bounds to solve the problem. The cost of these ponds, $700,000. Here's the pond on a sunny day and here it is after a torrential rain on June 14th. All the water you're looking at would likely have been in Gary Brugman's backyard. Everybody worked together to try to solve the problem. A $3 million project that starts next month will help nearly 10 neighbors on Doverdale Drive, but for the time being, the Churiks hold their breath when it rains. I would put a for sale sign today if somebody wanted to, you know, to take it off my hand. Whitehall's problem is nearly every municipality's problem. Digging ditches, cleaning streams, building retention ponds, replacing an aging infrastructure, all expensive ways to slow flood water. Whitehall is one of few places that's instituted a stormwater fee of about $100 per household and even more for large businesses to help pay for these projects. I pay it also. Everybody pays it. And that, and there's only one way that you're going to solve these problems, and that's to come up with the money that you need to, to do it. I hope it works is the bottom line. I hope it's, you know, helpful. So what can you as a homeowner do? Well, should you buy flood insurance? Should you buy a homeowner's insurance for sewer and water backup? We continue this story on WTAE.com and on our mobile app, including links to help you out if you do think flood insurance or additional homeowner's insurance policies might be right for you. We're live in Sky 4 tonight. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.